Hey, sweet faces. Let's take a peek at long division using boxes. Remember, this is one of two strategies we're going to talk about in class. If this is not your preference, go ahead and switch videos. We still have traditional or place the first division as another option. So let's talk about why you may prefer to use box division. Box division is super helpful if you are unsure of when to bring numbers down. If you get confused on the numbers on your screen and you're unsure of their purpose, or if you like to have your math a little bit more organized, this can be really helpful for you. It can also be helpful if you get stuck when you can't take groups out. For instance, if I have a zero in the middle and I'm not able to take a group out, just a couple of reasons that you might prefer this, or it just might be something that you enjoy the way it looks and makes sense to your brain. Either way, this is a great strategy that you can use on all types of division. You can use it on dividing numbers with a one-digit divisor, two, three. You can use it with decimals, lots and lots of options. So we're going to take a look at a two-digit divisor, and then we're going to go through a couple of practice problems with one and two-digit divisors for you. So the first thing that we need to do is the number that's being divided, each digit is going to get its own box. So since we're dividing the number 348, three-digit number, we get three boxes. Then we take the number and we're going to write it in the top of the boxes so that we have some space to do math underneath them. So 348 each gets its own box. And the number that is di the number that is dividing or is the divisor, it's diving in, it's going to go outside of our boxes. All right, we're set up and we're ready to go. We're starting with how many groups of 12 we can take? And we're focusing on one box at a time. So I'm looking at that 12 and I'm saying, how many 12s can I take out of three? Or if I had to take groups of 12, think of it as picking it up. How many groups of 12 can I take? Zero. I don't have enough. I only have three. I need 12 for a group. So I'm going to put that zero up top because how many groups can I take? Zero. Then I'm going to go to my next step, look across the bottom. It tells me that I need to multiply. So now I'm going to multiply zero times 12. When I do zero times 12, I end up with zero. My next step is to subtract three minus zero leaves me with three. And once I do my subtraction, anything left in the box is going to be brought up with me to the next box. So my leftovers now become the tens place of my new box. So that three comes with me next door, and I now have 34. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the beginning of my steps. And now I'm working through the steps on box number two. So how many groups of 12 can I take out of 34? It may be super helpful to you if you aren't sure of your times tables that you make yourself a little list. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. Now I know the first five for my 12s. A lot of times when we have a two-digit number, it's not that we're having trouble with the division. It's that we're having trouble with the groups. So make yourself a little cheat sheet. And remember, you can always bring this back and forth with you to class and have your sheet done for 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 so you don't have to do it each time. So how many groups of 12 can I take? Two is going to be the closest because two times 12 is 24. When I subtract, I'm left with 10. Quick check. 10 looks a little strange because it is a two-digit number, but is 10 smaller than 12? Yes, it is. So this is okay. I'm going to bring it next door. Notice I have a three-digit number in there, and that is okay. I'm still going to go ahead, and I'm going to repeat. How many groups of 12 can I take? I can take nine because nine times 12 is 108. We're left with nothing. Our answer is 29. All right, let's take a look at a couple of practice problems here. We're going to start with a one-digit divisor. And the first problem that we're going to do is 689. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my boxes. And I have a three-digit number. So that's going to be three boxes here. So 689. And I'm going to divide that by the number nine. And I'm focusing on one box at a time across the top. I gave myself a little reminder that I'm going to divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, repeat. 
How many groups of nine can I take out of six? Zero, because zero times nine is zero. Subtract six minus zero is six. Is six less than nine? Absolutely, I can bring it next door. How many groups of nine can I take out of 68? Seven, because seven times nine is 63. Subtract 68 minus 63 leaves me with five. Is five less than nine? Absolutely. So I'm going to bring it up. Do it again. How many groups of nine can I take out of 59? I can do six because six times nine is 54. Subtract 59 minus 54 is five. There is nothing left for me. I've used all of my numbers. The number that I have is in fact smaller than the number that I started with. So we have a remainder here. Our answer is 76 with a remainder of five. But don't take my word for it. We can check our math. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my answer, 76, and I'm going to multiply it by my groups, which was 9. 6 times 9 is 54. 9 times 7 is 63. Add 5 is 68. Don't forget to add your remainder. 689, that is the number we started with. So our answer is correct. Let's look at one more one digit. Here, this time we're going to do a four digit number being divided by a one digit. So I'm going to do my four boxes because every digit gets its own section. And I'm going to put in my number, which is 4,730. And I'm going to divide that by eight. And let's go. How many groups of eight can I take out of four? Zero, because zero times eight is zero. Subtract. Four minus zero is four. Four smaller than eight, that's great. Bring it with you. How many groups of eight can I take out of 47? Five, because five times eight is 40. Subtract 47 minus 40 is seven. Seven is less than eight. That's great. Bring it with you. How many groups of eight can I take out of 72? Nine, because Nine times eight is 72. Oops, I already said that. 73 minus 72 is one. Is one smaller than eight? Yep, that's great. Bring it with you. And now I'm doing 10. How many groups of eight can I take out of 10? One, because one times eight is eight. Subtract 10 minus eight is two. We have a remainder. There's nothing left to bring down. And it's smaller than the number that we have. But don't take my word for it. Check your math. Eight times one is eight. Eight times nine is 72. Eight times five is 40. Add seven is 47. Don't forget your remainder, 4,730. All right, love bugs. Let's take a look at our two digit divisors. So this one we are gonna start with is 364. And we're going to be taking out groups of 14. If I'm not sure of my 14 times tables, which I would not expect you to, write them up top, 14, 28, write out as many as you want. Now, normally I would suggest to at least do the first five if you can. So I'm going to do 42, 56, 70, just to give me a jumping off point. You might need more than them, but usually that at least gets you started. All right, taking groups of 14. How many groups of 14 can I take out of three? Zero, because zero times 14 is zero. Subtract three minus zero is three. Three is less than 14. That's great, bring it with you. How many groups of 14 can I take out of 36? It's gonna be two because two times 14 is 28. When I subtract this, I'm left with eight. Eight is less than 14, that's great, bring it with you. Now here you see we got close, but not close enough. I need to add one more group. And if I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of 14, it gives me 84 on the nose. My answer, is 26. Again, you don't have to take my word for it. You can check your math. Six times four is 24. Four times two is eight, add two is 10. Switch our colors here, place saving zero. 
six times one is six. One times two is two. We have four, six, three. It checks. All right, loves. If you have questions on these, as always, please bring them with you to class. Good luck, Mathly.